and Dad said he caught it especially for us. Well, he's really outdone himself this time. It's enormous. You know what would be great? No. If you cooked it in that herb butter recipe. Mm. I'd love it done like that. OK, well, I'll get started. Oh, I'll get it. Hi. Hi, um, I'm Finlay. I'm friends with Blake and Simon. Yeah, I think that they've mentioned you. Uh, have you finished moving? <laughs> Finally. Are you doing anything? Now? Yeah, well, after you were down at Surf Club and I was wondering if you'd like to join us. Who is it, darling? Uh, Finlay. That'd be great. Hi. Hello. Finlay's just invited me down to the Surf Club with some of her friends. Oh, that's lovely, but we're just about to have lunch. Well, uh, we'll be there for a while if you want to come down later. Well, maybe some other time. Mum, she's asking me. I'll be there. Great. I'll, I'll see you soon. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Me either. That was great. Thanks. I thought we might investigate the garden this afternoon. What do you think? I won't be here. Meg, be sensible. Mum, I don't want to sit around the house all the time. You've been over with Grandad all morning. In his house. I want to be with kids my own age. You make me sound like some tyrant trying to keep you away from them. No, I don't think that. It's just that I care, Meg. And there is a risk of infection. I don't want you to overdo it. Mum, I need to get out for a while. I know how you feel. No, you don't. You can't. You're not the one who's dying. Meg, it's silly to think like that. Mum, I know what's happening. The chemo didn't work. The doctors avoid saying anything to me. I might be sick, but I'm not stupid. I don't care about infection. I just want to get out and have some fun. Sir, you think she'll front? Oh, I don't know. Mum didn't seem too wrapped on the idea. Uh, well, you didn't let her I was going to be here, did you? Give me some credit. I was just checking, OK? Yeah, well, it's the last time I did your face. So do you want another game of pill? Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, you get a cue. I'll just clear this stuff up. Oh, you made it. You said I would. Yeah, well, I was just sure. I mean, your mum didn't seem too keen. So where is everybody? Hi. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, incredible coincidence. Um, so you want a game of pool? I've never played. That's cool. Um, I'll teach you. Think you don't mind it? I didn't really want to play anyway. I'm impressed. I think that's the general idea. By the way, don't be fooled by the uh, cool act. I mean, he's just another guy. Well, weren't you supposed to be meeting someone down at the diner? I don't know, was I? Yeah, you were. If you say so. I'll see you later. I'll see ya. Bye. Look, I'm uh, really glad that she came down. If Mum knew you were here, she'd freak. Ah, what? She doesn't know why I hurt her. Uh, what she got against me, anyway? It's not you. She's a bit overprotective. Oh, I can't handle letting you have a bit of freedom, huh? Something like that. Does that mean it's my girl? Yeah, you've got to sink up another one of her balls with the small numbers and just put it in the pocket. And that's it. Oh, well, it's not that you know. Well, it looks pretty easy. Ed, do you want me to show you how to line up? No, 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 I saw you do it. You just point and hit. That's the trouble with girls these days. They think they know it all. Oh, oh hello there. Hello, Elsa. What can I get you? I'd like some cake for dessert, thank you. All oh, right, carrot do. Yeah, that'll be lovely. Okay, how many pieces? Just two. 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 Alf's been great, helping Meg and I move in and everything. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I hope you uh, don't feel uncomfortable about him coming round. No, I should Just the old flame thing. <laughs> I think I can handle that. I really enjoy his visits. He's so straightforward, never beats around the bush. No, I don't think I could ever accuse Alf of beating around the bush. Time hasn't changed him, thank goodness. It must be very interesting to compare the before and now. Have you seen him for so long? He measures up pretty well, actually. <laughs> Good. That's two fifty. There's the two. Oh, two. Right, you still haven't got around to that dinner we keep talking about. No, and it'll be really nice. I'll organise it soon. I'll give you a call. Great. OK. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. 
I beg your pardon? Mrs. Stewart, doesn't it make you angry the way she talks about your husband? No, I think she's pretty good about it. Well, that's probably exactly what she wanted you to think. Marilyn, what are you on about? I thought you liked her. Well, yes, but none of us really know her that well, do we? Hey! See? It's all in the wrist action. I was going for the other one? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. You're still sunk. Do I get another go? Um, yeah. Yeah, now, if I was you, I'd uh, go for this green one here. Maybe if I for another one, I might hit it. Oh, well, I doubt it, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Meg. It's uh, simple geometry, equal angles. I never did geometry. Oh, what subjects are you doing then? Oh, just the usual. English, history, art. Yeah. What are you going to do with them? I don't know. See what happens. Yeah, me too. I'll work it out when I get there. So what happens now? Um, I win. Wish I could live near the beach forever. Well, you've got plenty of time to enjoy. It's not going anywhere. Thanks for the walk and the game pool. Hey, any time. I think it'll be a pretty mean pool play when you get some uh, practice in. I was hopeless. No, I don't think so. I think you showed enormous potential. <laughs> I sound like I'm writing your report card, don't I? And what I'm trying to say, Meg, is the way you played pool isn't important. I like spending time there. Me too. Well, I guess I'd better get going. Oh, well, I'll um, walk you home. No, you'd better not. Why? Oh, your mum. She thinks I was spending the afternoon with Finn. I don't want her to get stroppy. Well, how about I walk you home and we talk? No. I mean, she's already a bit funny about you. I don't want to make things worse. If I want to, well, what? keep on seeing you. I guess I shouldn't have said that. Although, hey, hey, of course you should have. I, no, I want to keep seeing you too. I like you, mate. I like. Me too. Listen, do you want to go out, no, out to a movie or something like that? Sure. Great, what about tonight? No, you'd better give me a few days. I need time to talk mum around to it. <laughs> sure. So, um... Today? Uh huh. I'd really better get going now. Okay. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Hi. Hello. Did you have fun at the surf club? Yeah, why? Well, you were a lot longer than I expected. <sighs> Sorry. You haven't overdone it, have you, Meg? You look a bit tired. No, I'm fine. You sure? Mm-hmm. So, tell me about your afternoon. There's not much to tell, really. I learned how to play pool and I went for a long walk along the beach. Is it fun to be with Finn? Uh-huh. It's nice of her to ask you out like that. Mm. Mm. Meg, you seem a bit strange, like you're not all here. My name is Meg Bowman. I'm 17 years old and I've just moved to Summer Bay. How's that? So who else was there apart from you and Finn? Uh, just a couple of kids. Anyone in particular? Just a few kids, all right. Why are you asking so many just questions? Just asking who was there. Well, don't. Meg, what's wrong? Nothing. Well, then why are you being so defensive? Look, maybe you are right. Maybe I am tired. I think I'd better go and lie down. I thought you were going to lie down. I just wanted a glass of water. Are you going to tell me who was at the surf club? I have. Meg, I know when you're keeping something from me. I just want a straight answer. What do you want me to say? Well, just tell the truth. All right. I wasn't with a whole bunch of kids. I was with one, Blake. Are you satisfied now? So what happened to Finn? She had to go. I see. 
Don't be like that. Well, how am I supposed to be when I find out my daughter's been lying to me? I didn't know he was going to be there. Oh, really? I didn't, honestly. Meg, we'll talk about it later after you've had your sleep. But you believe me, don't you? I said we'd talk about it later. Oh, you got a minute, mate? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I still wanted that burger. What's going on? You guys have acted like I just robbed a bank or something. <laughs> it's not quite that serious. What's up? Uh, it's about young Meg Bowman. What about her? Well, you know how her mum doesn't like you seeing her. Yeah, she's made it quite clear, and so have you. Not that either of you have given me a decent enough reason about why I shouldn't. Well, that's why I wanted to talk to you, mate. You don't seem to give two hoots about what we've been saying. Why should I? When you won't tell me why you're so against it. Alf, it isn't fair. Meg is a great girl, and she likes me just as much as I like her. I'd like to fill you in on this, mate, but I can't. Why? It's me, isn't it? What are you talking about? Julia doesn't think I'm good enough, and you probably agree with her, is that it? Oh, don't be stupid, Blake. It's got nothing to do with right, you. Then what is it, Alf? I'm sorry. You're just going to have to trust me on this. How do you feel? Better. Mum, I wish that you'd believe me about the surf club. I honestly didn't know Blake was going to be there. Really? I wouldn't set you up like that. Well, I'm sorry I got so annoyed. That's OK. Meg, I want to ask you something, and I don't want you to get upset again. I'll try not to. Well, you have to promise. How do you feel about Blake? I like him. And how does he feel about you? Does he like you? He asked me to go to the movies with him, and I said yes. <sighs> Mum, I knew you'd be like this. You don't want me to go out. You don't want me to make friends. You don't want me to do anything. That's not true. It is true. And I'm sick of it. You, you want to keep me to yourself like some sort of prisoner. I want what's best for you. Then don't hassle me about going out with Blake, because it makes me happy. And that's all that matters, isn't it? What makes you happy? What do you mean? Well, there are other people's feelings to consider. What about Blake? What about how he feels? You say he likes you. He does, a lot. Well, what if he likes you more? What if he gets serious, Meg? What if he falls in love with you? Meg, you have leukaemia. Yes. I wish you could live a normal life and have boyfriends and dates and... But you can't. It's not fair on them. It's not fair on Blake. I'm going to my room. Meg. I'm sorry, darling, but it had to be said. Is Al still here? Uh, I know, he's just gone to the store. Oh, good. Now you can live with me. What is the big deal about me seeing Meg? I don't know. Oh, come on, Al. So Mr. Alf being unreasonable, but you always treat me like a human being. And if I'm not allowed to see Meg, then I deserve to know why. Uh, Blake, you're not listening to me. I don't know. He hasn't told me either. Are you serious? Yes. I don't know any more about this than you do. But Alf says he has his reasons and we have to respect that. How can I respect it if I don't know what he's talking about? If there's such a big deal, then I should know about it, Alf. Love, I know how you must feel, but you'll just have to be patient. I'm sure he'll tell us when he thinks the time's right. Yeah. Alf, I like her. No, I, I really like her. I know. I'm sorry. Blake, you shouldn't be here. It's okay. I haven't come to see you. I've come to see your mother. She isn't here. Well, that's okay. Then I'll oh, wait. No, Blake. Meg, why not? It isn't a good idea, that's all. Fine, maybe not. But it's the only way I'm going to get to the bottom of what's going on here. Please, Blake, just go. No, Meg, not until I've sorted this out, okay? <sighs> Look, about the two of us going to the movies, I think that we should forget about it. Why? I don't really feel like going. What are you talking about? I mean, you were happy to come when I asked you. I've changed my mind. It's no big deal. 
She's got at you, hasn't she? Your mother. No. Come on, Meg, why are you acting so weird all of a sudden? Uh, has this got something to do with why we're not allowed to see each other? I don't know what you're talking about. I just don't want to go out with you, and I really think that you should go. Aren't you talking to me? Yeah. I'm sorry I had to be so hard on you about Blake. I just think it would be a terrible mistake if you two got involved. Yeah, I know. So what's the good news? Guess who I ran into at the diner? Donald Fisher. And we had a talk and agreed you should go to Summer Bay High. Is that supposed to make me happy? I thought it was what you wanted. Like you said, I can't live a normal life, so what's the point? Why pretend? I've got leukaemia. And that's all there is to it. It doesn't mean you can't go to school. What made you change your mind all of a sudden? Well, I realised you can't sit around here all day. And I knew you were so keen on going, I thought it would make you happy. Right. Meg, what's happened? Blake came around. And I did what you said. I told him to go away. And he did. So you don't have to worry anymore. He won't be bothering us. I know it seems really hard at the moment. I'm sure it's for the best, though. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I had a yarn to young Blake. I don't think you'll have any trouble with him coming round to see Meg anymore. When did you speak to him? Uh, yesterday afternoon. Why? He came round last night. You're kidding. He wanted to know why I didn't want him to see Meg. Oh, did he? Well, don't you worry. I'll sort him out properly this time. No, it's all right. Meg spoke to him. She said she didn't want to see him anymore, and I don't think there'll be a problem because it came directly from her. Well, fair enough, but, uh, look, if he comes around again, just let me know, OK? Yeah, OK. Um, how is Meg? She's not the best, and I can't seem to make her happy. It gets a bit much sometimes. Yeah, I know what you mean. The kettle's on. Would you like a cup of tea? Sure. You're still upset about Blake, aren't you? Yeah. Meg, no one's saying you can't see him as a friend. You'll be running into him all the time if you change your mind about going to school. You know, I can't figure you out. Two weeks ago, you were dead against the idea of me going to school, and now you keep hassling me about it. Well, I realised I was being selfish, and I haven't been thinking of you. I think school would help take your mind off things, make you feel... Normal? Is that the word you're looking for? Not exactly. Close enough, though, isn't it? Normal, happy, better. Look, what's got into you all of a sudden? You're so angry. I'm angry because no matter what you or I do, we can't change a thing. I'm going to lie down. I'll bring you your tea. Don't worry about it. I didn't order any groceries, did I? No, but you know me, Jules. Can't <laughs> resist a bargain at the fruit and veggie market. Mm. Then I'd do me block when I got to chuck it all out at the end of the week. <laughs> I just thought you might like some. Well, that's very thoughtful of you. Thanks, Elf. Um, how much do I owe you? Oh, no, no, no. I bought it over as a present. Oh, don't be silly. No, I wouldn't hear of it. Wow, <sighs> that's very sweet of you. Would you like a cup of tea? And don't ask if it's any trouble, because I've just made a pot. Well, if that's the case, I'd love one. OK. <coughs> Girl chop, all right? Why do they all have to be so weird? Something to do with their chromosomes, mate. Now, what's the problem? Well, if I like a girl, then I like a girl, right? Yeah, well, a few more details wouldn't go astray. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I met this girl. We went out together and she told me that she really liked me. But the next time I saw her, she didn't want to know about me. Well, maybe she didn't want to get involved. Yeah, well, she does. I'm sure of it. It's a mother. And that's what I don't understand, because the mother doesn't even know me. Well, sounds like she's just being protective. I would protective, I'll grant you. It's all me. So, you got any wonderful advice? Wonderful advice. I'd go around and see her while her mum was there. 
Uh, what if you'd just been told to stay well clear of the place? I'd still go. And besides, when have you started taking no for an answer? Meg wanted to come here and live a normal life as much as that's possible. And I haven't done much to encourage that, have I? Well, you're here, aren't you? Go up your job, your friends. Couldn't have been easy. It's nothing compared to what Meg's going to lose. I can always pick up where I left off, but... You always think it's going to happen to someone else. I'm not handling it at all well. I'm still hoping the doctors will call and tell me it's all been a dreadful mistake. Yeah. And Meg doesn't understand that she's the one who's been giving me the strength to cope with all this. She's handling it a million times better than I am. She's so brave and determined to fight. At least she was until this black business started. I had to go and remind her she's not like normal girls her age. Now she seems to be giving up. School would be so good for her, Rolf. You never know, she might change her mind. I don't think she knows what to think. One minute I'm overprotective, the next minute I'm encouraging her to live a life the best she can. The problem is, I'm the one who's confused. I've never had to deal with anything like this before. Well, for what it's worth, I reckon you're doing a pretty good job. Hi. Oh, good day, Meg. Do you feel better after your nap? Much. Well, look, uh, I better hit the road. I've still got a few deliveries to do. It's getting a bit late. Thanks for the tea. Thank you. <laughs> These pears Mrs. Stewart brought round are delicious. Have a bit. Oh, that's good, thank you. Do you really prefer it here to the city? I think so. But don't you miss working and your friends? What's brought this on? I overheard you talking to Mr Stewart. Can I ever tell you it was rude to listen to other people's conversations? Well, it's just as well I was listening. Because it made me realise that this isn't easy for you either. You worry about me all the time, whether you're doing the right thing or not. Must be the pits. Don't be silly. Well, I just want to let you know that I think you're doing a great job. And I love you. Meg, that's exactly what I need to hear right now. How would you feel if I changed my mind about going to school? You want to go to school? Mm -hmm. It'll give you a chance to do your own thing during the day. And you say I change my mind every five minutes. <laughs> well, at least I know where I get it from. Oh, Meg. <laughs> I'm not in love with Meg. I just want to get to know her better. Is that so hard to understand? Oh, look, I've got to go, OK? Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. You're home from work early today? Yeah, a bit. Who are you speaking to? Ah, uh, Finn. Did I hear the name Meg mentioned? You might have. Have you been seeing her? <laughs> How can I? Her mother's got her under lock and key. Look, love, I know it must be hard to accept the fact that Julie doesn't want you getting involved with Meg, but she must have her reasons. Yeah, well, I went over there today to find out what they were. Blake, you were told to stay away. Hey, don't panic. I changed my mind when I got there. Good for you. That's a bit of fool to try while Alf was there. Probably let me in the door. Alf was there? Well, his car was in the driveway. Probably just making a delivery or something like that. Yes, yes, I suppose so. Meg, you've got visitors. Hi. 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 Happy it was all right coming around without phoning or anything. Oh, it's fine. Take a seat. Would you like some coffee? Um, not for me, thanks. Sophie? Uh, no, thanks. Tea won't take a minute. Mum, I don't think they want anything. Right. Well, look, I've got some work to do, so I'll leave you girls to it. <sighs> we were wondering if you'd like to come down in the diner with us. Ah, uh, there's usually one or two cute guys there. Oh, sounds like fun. Blake said he might be there too. <sighs> That's great. But I really should get an early night. I'm starting school with you guys tomorrow. Oh, oh fantastic. <laughs> what do you like at school? Uh, OK. Oh, good. We can copy over each other's homework. <laughs> yeah, if you want to borrow any books, just let me know, OK? Oh, you're at school? Yeah, same class. 
I'm sorry, I thought that you... Uh, it's okay, it's a long story. I'll tell you about it in some long, boring history class, if you like. <laughs> sorry, just one more minute. That's all right, take your time. We're never in a hurry to get to school. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, do you want to sit down? Um, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised you've fallen for her. She's pretty, isn't she? Yeah, she is. So is it the type you always go for? Well, kind of. I mean, they have to be the sort of girls other guys drool all over. Even <laughs> if you do say so yourself? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Here it is, Meg. It was in the kitchen. I'm sure you won't be too hot in this. It's better than having to explain my bruises all the time. Well, hopefully it will be cooler soon. Okay. Now, have you got everything? Yes, Mum. If you get sick or just tired, I want you to tell the teacher you want to go home. I'll be fine. You don't have to explain. You just come straight home. Okay. I wish you'd let me tell Mr. Fisher what was going. No. I'll see you at lunchtime. Okay. Don't you break too many hearts today. <laughs> okay. Bye, Mum. <laughs> Oh, that's what they're there for. <laughs> oh, what if they went the other way? We'll wait, all right? We could be here all morning. Yeah, fine, we'll wait here all week if we have to. Are you all right? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine, no worries. Yeah, nearly fell on his brain. I, uh, heard you were starting school today. And how did you hear that? I just wanted to warn you that uh, the school's a bit like a rabbit warren. Oh, I'll show you around if you like. I mean, you don't want to be getting lost or anything like that, right? I've got a pretty good sense of direction. I can find my own way around. Mate. That's one fickle chick. Fine. Tell me something I don't already know. I hope she doesn't find it too much to cope with. I think Meg's forgotten what a day of school can take out of you. True. Now she might want to drop the whole thing again by the time 3.30 rolls around. She's too stubborn to back out that soon. Like a mother, is she? <laughs> you know, it'd be good if Don Fisher knew, though. He could keep a close eye on her. Yeah, I wanted to tell him, but she wouldn't be in it. Yeah, well, what if something happens in the class, you know, and the teacher hasn't got a clue? Her point is, if the staff know, then they'll treat her like a china doll and maybe the kids will suspect something's wrong. Yeah, still, that doesn't make it too easy on you, does it? Uh, you fancy a cuppa? Oh, I'd love one. On the other hand, uh, you know, there's no point in you worrying because, uh, you know, there's just... Oh, good day, Alice. Hello, Elsa. I I'm sorry, I'm obviously interrupting something. No, 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 love. Uh, we're just having a bit of a chat. What can I do for you? Um, I came in for something for the diner, but my mind's gone a complete blank. I'll, uh, I'll come back when I remember what it was. Uh, hang on, Al. So we're just putting on a cuppa. How much do you think she heard about Meg? Oh, I don't think it's anything to do with Meg. But something's bugging that woman, and I can't for the life of me get out of her what it is. <laughs> You've got it bad, mate. Yep. She thinks you're a dork. Yep. You don't care? Nope. Go. Go. Well, just get out of here. Oh. Any time, anything for you, mate? Hi. Hi. Ah, uh, look, there's this really great tree outside. It's absolutely perfect for eating your lunch. And I was wondering if you'd like to check it out with me at lunchtime. I'm something. going home for lunch. Yeah, well, well that, that's okay. Um, we could we could go for a walk after school. I could. I um, think I'm busy out. then too. Meg, wait. Look, when we were down at the beach, I don't know. I I kind of thought everything was going really good. You know, I, I thought you liked me. Your ego's too much. I'm really not interested. Does this mean I'm going to find out what's bugging you? Yes, you're damn right it does. And don't you dare tell me you haven't got time to talk. Oh, I've been 
waiting since last night for you to get this off your chest. What's the problem? I want to know what's going on between you and Julia Bowman. 